Just going to show you how to clear up a green pool with Pool RX. See that this pool here is turning. There's no chlorine at all in here. So for a green pool cleanup, the first step is to clean the filter. Also, if you're using the Pool RX, you want to start with a clean filter. You can see all the green algae here in this D filter. If you have a sand filter, you won't be taking the sand filter apart. You would just simply backwash the sand filter. I made this chart to show you the different green pool levels that I run into out there in the field. I'm going to show you a level 2 and a level 4 pool in this video. I also show you on this chart how many times you need to clean the filter. If you have a DE filter or a cartridge filter, this is an estimated amount of time you have to clean the pool filter to get it back in shape. I also show you basically how much chlorine you're going to add to get it to 10 parts per million. This is based on a 20,000 gallon pool. So in level 1, you add about 2 gallons to get it to 10 parts per million. And same with the level 2. And as you go down and the pool gets greener and greener, you're going to add more chlorine to counterbalance all the organics in the water. And I also show you the recommended Pool RX unit. Even though it's a 20,000 gallon pool, the black unit would be better in a lot of cases of the green pool since it has more minerals in it. A lot of the minerals are going to be used up combating the green algae. And then on the higher level pools, you're going to need a booster also to replenish the minerals, which will more than likely be used up in clearing up the green pool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and brush the pool really well. I'm going to add two gallons of liquid chlorine. Then I'm going to drop the Pool RX unit into the pump basket and let the pool run for about 24 hours. Okay, now I'm going to brush the pool walls really well to loosen up the algae. You can see that this pool here has no chlorine at all. All the other levels are pretty good in the pool. And the Pool RX is more effective if you start the process with the pH at 7.2 to 7.4. If your pH is higher than that when you start this process, go ahead and use some muriatic acid and lower that down. So I'm going to add a couple gallons of liquid chlorine. So what I'm going to do here at this pool is I'm going to go ahead and turn the timer mechanism past the off tripper. I'll let the pool run. It'll turn itself off again when it gets to here. So it'll run for 24 hours. In case you want to remove the pump lid. If the pump basket is dirty, go ahead and clean it out. I'm going to go ahead and drop the Pool RX unit in here. Okay, I'm going to fill the pump up here with water and I'll put the lid back on. And we're going to turn on this pool. Let it run for 24 hours. If you have an automated system, you want to put it in service mode. Depending on which automation you have, some of them have a mode button that changes it to service mode. In service mode, you can run the pool 24 hours. If you have a standalone variable speed pump, you'll need to reprogram the timeout mode to run for 24 hours. Every prompt is a little bit different, so check the owner's manual to see how you would enter timeout mode and change the runtime. Most are factory set for 3 hours, so you would simply go in there and change it for 24 hours and then run your standalone variable speed pump in timeout mode. So I've had really good results clearing up green pool at Pool RX. Came back here the next day, you can see the pool is looking a lot better. It's clearing up nicely. And the chlorine level is low, I'm going to go ahead and add a couple more gallons of liquid chlorine. And here's the pool after the week. You can see the Pool RX clears this pool up nicely. So if you follow the steps on their online guide, you can clear up a green pool effectively using the Pool RX. I'm going to go ahead and vacuum the pool to get all the algae dust out of here. And it's recommended that you clean the filter a second time after vacuuming the pool. And you can see that the chlorine is holding really well in this pool now. So that's the process of cleaning up a green pool using the Pool RX. The process is very effective. If you're dealing with a more severe green pool like this one here, you're going to want to add more liquid chlorine than 2 gallons. This one here I would add 6 to 8 gallons. I would insert the Pool RX unit into the pump. Then I would run the pool for 24 hours. Next day you want to check the chlorine level. If it's zeroed out, go ahead and add some more liquid chlorine. Okay, so the first step, if you have a cartridge or DU filter, is to go ahead and take the filter apart and clean it. That's a more than likely with a green pool, you're going to find that your filter is also green. So step one is to clean the filter. Again, you're going to have to do this maybe two or three more times during the process. I'm going to put the filter back together and go ahead and start the pool. I'm going to go ahead and put a black Pool RX unit in this pool. Now I'm going to add eight gallons of liquid chlorine here. 
So one question you may have is which pool RX unit should you use for a green pool cleanup? If you have a pool that's 15,000 gallons or more, and if the green pool is pretty severe, you want to go ahead and use the black unit. The black unit has 12 ounces of mineral in it, opposed to the blue unit, which has 8 ounces of mineral. So you can see after 24 hours, this pool is looking a lot better. I'm going to go ahead and clean the filter again. So it's important to clean the filter a second time if necessary to ensure that you have proper flow. Don't worry about the minerals washing out. After 24 hours, they will have enough time to disperse in the water. So when I'm cleaning up a green pool this severe, I use the PortaVac by Advantage Manufacturing. I also have a video showing you how to build a portable cleanup pump for your pool. If you want to pump out your green pool, or if you do this for a living. If you have a sand filter or a D filter with the multi-port valve, you can vacuum the pool to waste. So that's a look at using Polar X to clean up a level 2 and a level 4 green pool. Also keep in mind that Polar X is a great way to prevent your pool from turning green in the first place. So if you put a Polar X unit in your pool at the beginning of the season, it's going to prevent all algae from forming. It will also allow you to use less chlorine in your pool week to week. Inyopools.com is a proud sponsor of swimming pool tips and have been helping pool owners find the right pool parts since 2001. With over 50,000 pool parts in stock, order online today and have your parts delivered right to your door.